new to FIFA 23 and Foot 23, I'll give you the best custom tactics with the formation that's going to make you the best player you can be at an early stage. Four, two, three, one, and we're getting into some custom tactics. It goes four, four, two, three, one. We want to start off with a defensive style of balance, pretty defensive um, formation anyway. So we want to do a balanced setup, which is going to keep everyone in their position and in their shape. Width is at 55, depth is at 50. Offensively, we want to go with a fast build up because we do have a lot of players forward as well. We've got those three midfielders that are attacking and we've got the one striker, but we want to go direct pass. We want to have a fast striker, guys. The best way you can do that is by doing some challenges in foot. Get yourself a nice fast striker and then play balls in behind and they'll make nice runs in behind and you'll be able to open up that defense. With this at 50, players in the box corners, free kicks at a standard rate. Moving into the instructions, guys. So for the 4 2 3 one, what we want to do is get our striker getting in behind. Because we need a fast striker anyway for our tactics to work effectively, what we really want to do is get in behind. Just get in, with getting behind, guys, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to play balls over the top all the time. Blah, 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 blah. Have a look at the runs. You can cut apart defenses. They'll run off, they'll run off the back line and they'll come, um, you know, hold their runs off and play off the shoulder, which is what you really want to happen. Moving into our attacking midfielders, guys. So our central attacking midfielder, we want them to free roam. We want them to do this so they can move around the box freely and support that front striker. Right and left attacking midfielders, we don't really want to change too much, guys. We really want them to stick to their position because we want that support out wide, especially if we get hit on the counter-attack, which is possible when you're playing with direct passing tactics. Moving into our defensive midfielder, guys, covering wings and sticking to positions are the key there. Now, the other key fact to this formation to make it more attacking, because as I said, it's very defensive. So to make it more attacking and to make you very difficult to play against, you need to play wide, okay, guys? You need to play width and cut back into the middle. Watch the runs of, the, of your front four there, your three midfielders and your uh, striker. Watch the runs, but you want our left and right backs to join the attack. We have the coverage in the middle here with the two central midfielders. We want our right and left back to join the attack just to offer support to your two front central attacking midfielders. Your center backs, not changing anything, guys. Stick to position, stay back while attacking. Your keeper's coming for crosses and he's a sweeper. Keeper, found yourself behind, so you need to get a little bit more attacking, guys. Now, with this formation as we have it set now, I would not change much, okay? The only thing I'm going to say to you to change is with your two attacking midfielders, I'm going to basically say, keep them on stay forward, okay? Yes, you are pushing forward, but you're tasting the game. Get them to stay forward. Hold back the opponent's defense by them staying forward, so they have to man them up. And that way, you will have a lot more opportunity to get that ball in behind to your striker. Say you're winning and you want to defend. What should you do? Well, firstly, you're going to change your two midfielders here to come back on defense okay so they offer a bit of support in the width you're going to change your middle guy to come back on defense you're going to put your left back back to a stay back while attacking and you're going to put your right back back to a stay back while attacking so basically we're going to hold them off just make sure with your front striker that you are playing get in behind because what's going to happen is when they're attacking you because you're winning they're going to play a very very high line so you will have opportunity with our tactics to play balls over top. And that's when you can press your R1, L1, or your LB, RB, whatever system you play on, and play those flat through balls over the top. And you should be able to run on and hopefully push them back again. Now, there is a formation that you can change to, 3-4-3. Three, three, you should watch it right here.